sunny day, we got some time to stay. Hey, 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 and everything's okay. We've come out to the 100 acre wood, also known as Ashdown Forest, uh, to shoot with the 135 F1.8 Sigma lens versus the only Nikon equivalent, really, which is the 135 F2 DC. Absolutely, and hopefully Winnie the Pooh is going to come and assist us with this shoot today. <laughs> we have a lovely family joining us today to do some model shots because really that's what you would shoot with the 135 lenses. Uh, and we're going to do a bit of a comparison. Yeah, looking forward to that. Okay, good. All right, I'm happy with that setup. Yeah, you really Yeah, got some trees. So, yeah. should we do field? Let's do the field. Field? Okay, good. We gonna have a lot of fun now, all my sorrows are gone. A smiling face for everyone. Life can be so beautiful when you start to judge and you'll just be free. All right, so if you guys wanna stand roughly. You see, I've just done location scouting and it's been approved by the director. I have now swapped to the 135 f1.8 Sigma art lens. Uh, this is autofocus, so it should make my life a little bit easier. We're going to take shots over here. It's a sunny day, we got some time to stay. I'm just checking the depth of field because obviously it's quite long. So I can't really shoot at 1.8 if I want to with a group of people. So I really need to adjust and make sure that when I start to shoot we are more or less in the right depth of field. So 5.6 sounds about right for me. Now all my sorrows are gone, a smiling face for everyone. Life can be so beautiful when you start to judge and just be Basically, we just need you to take one shot with one lens and one shot with the other lens, exactly the same, and then the same with me. spent quite a bit of time shooting with these two lenses. We've done some comparison. Yes. One thing I would say about the 135 is that it's it's kind of obvious that it was made for film. Yes. Originally. It shows its age a bit when you put it on a digital high resolution sensor. Indeed. It's got a very nice character. I do like this is the colors and the rendering. Yeah, the rendering is nice and warm. The skin tones are beautiful and we haven't even fiddled with the defox control features at all. No, this was just doing it as a straight up direct yeah. comparison, wide open and, and shooting at about f4. Um, so then in comparison to the Sigma, it's just a very sharp lens. Yeah. If you dip into high resolution digital photography, Sigma wins it straight away. Just overall sharpness is really good. Wide open, chromatic aberrations are manageable, again, compared to 135 lens. If you use Z cameras, then 135 Nikon lens is manual focus only because it doesn't have built-in autofocus motor inside. It, the challenging part of this is, is focusing this lens manually. Yes, because it's quite finite, isn't it? You're exactly. shooting a 135, you really have to get it dead on, otherwise this is where focus peaking came in handy. Indeed, indeed. And even then, it's quite changing. Keep in mind, though, that 
with 135F2, I found myself that I have to stop it down quite a bit. So F4 is the usable uh, aperture I would start with. Mm. At 2.8 and F2, the margin for error is very tight. So if you miss it, you get completely out of, uh, out of focus shot. Now, with the Sigma lens, because of what works features of Z cameras, you can get a nice shot at 1.8. Of course, if you start to get people in, I would say 2.8 where I would start with. Yeah, but even wide open uh, at a good enough distance, I think it performed really nicely. Absolutely. So if you've got a film camera, you would go for the Nikon one. Yeah, or a lower resolution digital camera, maybe 12, 20 megapixels, no more than that, I That's would say. That's true. If you're still rocking your G700, that would be a right choice for that. The moral of the story is that Nikon need to bring out a 135Z lens. Absolutely, because there's no native 135 lens, and even Sigma is F-mount lens as well. So I'm definitely looking forward to this. It's not on the lens roadmap yet. No. But you never know with Nikon, they may surprise us. Thank you very much for watching. Please give us a like and a subscribe. And do let us know if you've had any experience with these lenses, what you think of them, and perhaps what your ideal Nikon Z135 would be. In the comments below.